Today's second Moore's Million race is leg seven, and it's over a much longer trip this time, almost a mile further, four miles and one furlong. And there's a much bigger field for this as well. Should be a action pack race there. Normally are these long distance ones, just 0 to 130. And Woodland Adventure at the top four, David Hooley, Stravita Field, David Robertson, Zami Thinkar, Graham Clitterbuck, Artisan Sundown, David Robertson, Blue Penny, Martin Leedham, Castle Dorrington and Lawnmower for Darren Thompson, Flynn's Bullet, Martin Leedham, LOLA Lola for Padre Hogan, Pride of America, Paul Rose, Debancher Man, Alex Cherry, Sean Will, Obi-Wan, Irish Tony Craig, back with Maggie Saucier for Obi-Wan, Rollover, Beethoven, Padre Hogan, Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes and Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, so 17 then. Being called in, and away they go. And sure will. Looks to be the one who's going to take them along. Flynn's bullets also close up as they make their way towards the first of 21 fences they've got to take in this one. And the early back marker is Lawnmower. Sure will leads from Flynn's bullet. Those two have pulled three lengths clear of the rest of them already. We're headed by Gran Torino and the LOLA Lola with Blanche Neige on the inside. It's a Decent run to the first of the 21, and Sean Will looks pretty certain to lead them over it. Does so, Flynn's wallet went right through the top of it, made a bad mistake, so too did Gran Torino. So, the trainers of those will be open, they've got their mistake out of the way early. Quite a few trainers double handed in this, and Sean Will for OB1 will lead them past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits to go. And Sean Will is the leader. From Flynn's Bullet second. And the Alex Cherry pair on the inside. Blanche Nish and Debancher Man. Next to that one is the LOLA Lola. Then Gran Torino in the blue. And Rollover Beethoven is also in that leading group as they take the next. And they're all safely over it with the back marker just Irish Tony in the middle of Pride of America and Maggie's saucy air. So it's Obi Wan first and last then, really. Just about sure one though joined by Flynn's bullet as they come down towards the third fence. Those two are a good three or four clear as they take the next and Flynn's bullet just about landed in the lead. Oh, I'm sure will. Then roll over Beethoven is in third. Gran Torino has moved back up into fourth after that early mistake. Blanche Neige on the inside, then L O L A Lola. And the Bancher Man's on the rail with Zami Thinker it's alongside that one. All safely over the fourth. Maggie's Saucier. Still just a back marker. So they settled down into their preferred racing order then now to take this ditch. We'll see them all safely over the ditch with Flynn's bullet just in the lead on the outside of Shaw Wheel. Gap of three then to roll over Beethoven is third. Then Blanche Neige on the rail. LOLA Lola on the outside of that one, then Gran Torino, then Zami Thinker and Debancher Man, and then Lorma Wood and Vengeance after that one, and then Artisan Sundown on the rail. And Irish Tony who's made a forward move. Pride of America is next on the inside, Blue Penny. Then Castle Donington and finally Stravita Field and Maggie's Saucier just at the back as they get to the next, which they all negotiate safely. Plenty of these will be. Heading for the Grand National in a few weeks' time. And Sean Will on the inside of Flynn's Bullet. Oh, roll over Beethoven and Blanche Nish. Then have a Lola. With Artisan Sundown making some ground as they get over the next slow jump there by David Hooley's Woodland Venture towards the back. But there's still an awful long way to go. And Sean Will led over that one. And a mistake towards the back by Irish Tony. Sean Will and Flynn's bullet are sharing the lead. With roll over Beethoven settled in third. Blanche Nish going well on the inside fourth. Then Gran Torino and Artisan Sundown. That one's crept through the field to take much closer order. Zami Thinker on the outside. LOLA Lola's just dropped back a little bit. That's to us the Banshee man. Lord Murray's the one going widest on the track. And after that one, Pride of America and Woodland Ventures. They take the next. Uh, a couple of mistakes there in the middle of the pack but everybody's still on their feet and sure will from Flynn's bullet as they take another ditch once again all safely over it with Stravita Field still just a back marker but probably no more than 20 lengths off the lead 
Sean Wilton is just about that leader. Well, Flynn's bullet, the two of them running together. Yeah, wrong over Beethoven in third, and Arden's on Sundown now, clear fourth. Blanche Neige is fifth. Then De Bancherman and Lawmower. Pride of uh, Gran Zurich Torino has just dropped back a little bit. Stable mate, Pride of America behind that one. Zami Thinko on its outside. And MLA Lola is another one who's moved back in the pack a little bit. Blue Penny's getting a bit closer on the route. Oh, we'll need some luck in running on that inside of another mistake there by LOLA Lola. See that one shuffle into the back part of the field where Maggie Saucier is one that's making significant progress and has now moved past half a dozen or so. So they come up past the stand then. Um, past this winning post with just this one more circuit to go then. And it sure will on the inside of Flynn's bullet. Those two have been disputing the lead from the outset. They lead by two lengths over Rollover Beethoven in third. And then Artisan Sundown is fourth and Blanche Neige is fifth as they take the twelfth. And there's a faller there. We've lost one. Pride of America's gone. And the first one to depart the race has gone at the twelfth. And that was Paul Rhodes' Pride of America that's gone. But it's still Sean Wood and Flynn's bullet disputing the lead. From Rollover Beethoven third and Artisan Sundown fourth. In Blanche Neige and Lormar and Gran Torino as they take the next. A mistake there by Zami Thinker. We've seen that one drop to the back three or four. That's Flynn's bullet. Leads now by about half a length. That might be as big a lead as anyone's had for a while. Roll over Beethoven is coming to join the leading pair to make it a leading three as they get over the 14th. A mistake at the back by Woodland Venture. But it's Flynn's bullet from Sean Will. Then roll over Beethoven third. Blanche Neige on the inside of Artisan Sundown. Gran Torino is still there as they get over that ditch. And they all stream over that one nicely. Flynn's bullet's gone too clear now. Well, Shaw will in second. And then roll over Beethoven third. Blanche Neige four. Artisan Sundown five. Then DeBancherman and Gran Torino and Lawmower. And Castle Donington's trying to make a move. Zemi Thinkar's trying to get back in it around the outside. Hello, LA Lola is. Still there, Maggie Saucier is creeping the inside. Blue Penny's got work to do. So Stravita Field. Over the 16th they go. All safely over another, another mistake at the back by LOLA Loader and it's Flynn's bullet from Sean Will in second. Then a gap to roll over Beethoven, Artisan Sundown, Blanche Nedley, Buncherman. We're inside the final mile now. One or two of these gonna have to start making their move from the back. As they get to the 17th, a mistake there by Sean Will. And it's Flynn's bullet. Two lengths clear of Sean Will. Then roll over Beethoven, but look at this Castle Donington. And Flynn's bullet nearly went there. He took a real risk at that one. Stood off it and very nearly went. And now it's all bunched up top. And here comes Debancherman who sweeps around the outside and takes the lead. It's Debancherman who's made his move first. Debancherman then takes it up. Flynn's bullet on the inside. Sean Will on the outside. Wider still Castle Donington. Then comes roll over Beethoven. Lawnmower, Artisan Sundown. Zami Thinkard trying to get into it still. It's wide open, but Debancher Man has quickly gone too clear, coming down towards the final three fences then. Debancher Man over the third last, jumps it really well, gets away from us, a forder at the back there, Zami Thinkar's gone. But it's Debancher Man, who's well clear of Lawmower and Castle Donington, roll over Beethoven, Artisan Sundown, Flynn's bullets beaten, so too Sean Will. They're coming down towards the second last, the final ditch, and Debancher Man's over it clear. He's well clear, running on, but getting to second. He's Castle Donington, Flynn's bullets still trying to get there, so's Irish Tony, Artisan Sundown's coming through with a the run, they've still got three furlongs to go, but there's only one more fence to take, and it's Debancher Man. Debancher Man is four or five lengths clear of Castle Donington in second. Irish Tony's third, then comes um, Roll Over Beethoven and Flynn's Bullet Lawnmower and Artisan Sundown. It's De Bancherman coming down to the final fence then with a four length lead over Castle Donington in second. It's between these two, surely. De Bancherman, a good jump, gets over it nicely. Castle Donington's closing though. It's De Bancherman in the lead with a furlong to go. De Bancherman's in front. Here comes Castle Donington with a renewed effort on the outside. De Bancherman is beginning to tire. Castle Donington's beginning to close. It's De Bancherman man from Castle Donington and Debancherman is holding on at the moment and Debancherman is going to take it right it's Jerry at the line Debancherman's the winner from Castle Donington roll over by over Lorma Flynn's bullet in Castle and Blanche Neige after that one and all the way back to Woodland Venture and Debancherman takes it 
Oh, Alex Jerry made his move early. It was the first one to commit for home and it paid off. Castle Donington, we've seen a lot of those Darren Thompson horses running down the leader in the final half foot on this week, but that one didn't quite manage it today. And Debancherman held on, so Debancherman wins it for Alex Cherry. Castle Donington for Darren Thompson second. Roll over Beethoven for Padre Hogan was third. Lawnmower for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Flynn's Bullet stuck on to be fifth. <laughs>